just got back from watching the Godzilla X Kong movie. Let me just go ahead and state my opinion here. It was amazing. Now, the title of the video we're going to be watching today, it says, is it really that bad with the Rotten Tomatoes bad score on it? And like I said, I just got back from the movie like 10 minutes ago. And my opinion on it, super fun, full of monsters. And without giving any spoilers away, it was some of the most fun I've had watching a Godzilla movie like ever. So the take continues that as you will. Its fifth the video is by Dangerville, by the way. Following Godzilla, I just want to hear what he has Island. to say. Godzilla, I don't know King if he's seen it yet. And Godzilla versus Kong. It was so we have good, Godzilla, dude. Kong, full of monsters. The new empire. And, and that's all I'm going to say. Not going to say what monsters, the but, first time you know, a MonsterVerse film has been helmed by some the that same you're not expecting. mind as the last. That's all I'm giving you. No spoilers. Totally and that's thematically, it. we should expect it to follow through with what was set up in the previous film, which could be seen as a good or bad thing, depending on your I perspective. I thought it was very good, bro. I had a lot of fun watching it. For the last it. two years since its announcement, we've made news updates. It was funny in times, too. Videos, like theories all leading to this humor but has action it been worth it to which i say it was so if good you were sold on the idea of godzilla and kong teaming up to there were some hard giant parts. monsters then you get exactly what you came for first i'd like to mention this review is spoiler free spoiler free so for those spoiler that free. i'm not gonna say it, nothing for you worry, i promise we've got you covered we i'm not giving away anything stuff that the trailer my opinion on reveal. it the new installment of the MonsterVerse pits the mighty Kong and the fearsome Godzilla. Oh, by the, the way, I'm going to go ahead and pause. I don't know if you guys remember this scene, but there was somebody in the comments saying something about how this was totally a helicopter because of the way that Godzilla looked at it in the shadows. Kong and the fearsome Godzilla against it wasn't, the colossal by the way. deadly Not a helicopter, within okay? Our world guy in the comments, the existence of he called me an idiot. I'm sorry, I had to throw it out there. Own, as well as diving <laughs> deep into the mysteries of Skull Island That's the and biggest beyond, spoiler we're gonna delving get from straight into the it origins of the Hollow Earth. This this film will explore the ancient titan battle that brought man and no, but monster for real. together I mean, I love the movie. So, it was so good. How was it? How was it? It was great, man. It was well, great. Let's get out of the way. This is very much a Kong movie. He is the main character. I he's mean, a, probably more than any other character, and he's I mean, the one is, that goes through the most change. That's it's true. A Kong-centered story. And that aspect is easily the most engaging part of the film. I like it though. He's, he's more, more human now you know? than he was in the he's previous film. He's learning his more. place in the wider world. But in a movie you like get this. the feeling that he longs for more and is constantly on alert to any potential others of his kind. That's true. It's he always seems on guard. It's the fairy tale story of a princess wanting more, except our princess is a big hairy ape. So when we see him encountering other members of his species, like Suko or the Star This part King, was actually kind of funny. Really we'll see why like a big moment for the character, something that's been built up since Skull Island. That and it fight? pays off massively. Wingard has taken very careful Bro. steps to make very sure good. the non-verbal storytelling is as effective as possible. The monsters don't talk to one another. It's not that simple. But with their body language and actions they perform, it gets across exactly what the Titans are thinking. It gets to the point where we don't see them as monsters, but as fully developed characters. That's true too. And that's something I, you that still see them as really a monster, achieved though. in monster films, especially before. when they're fighting. So it makes following Kong really engaging. It was engaging for sure. the film is spent with the monsters, so we really get to spend a lot of Which time getting into Which is what we knew. We knew the monsters were going to be in it so more in than the regard, humans almost. Kong in the New Empire is the best he's ever been. But the best. But what about the headline act, Godzilla? Well, Godzilla was great. Well, unfortunately, kind of feels like an afterthought, which makes sense considering the film was originally developed as Son of Kong. Every I wouldn't now say and an again, the film would cut back to whatever he was doing just to remind us he's definitely in the film. He's as imposing as ever, though, rampaging through cities and causing widespread destruction. There, were, there just wasn't Even much that you could have seen. You know? Every I mean, he was he's doing what he was doing. is a joy. And exactly. I like the little bits of attention to detail, like he will occasionally snap and roar at a helicopter for flying too close. Yeah. And I just love his new evolved form. Yeah, I love However, it too, the man. the film doesn't really do much with the new evolution. He's just about as powerful as he was at the start of the film, and apparently he's not any bigger. So why I'm, I'm gonna did be they honest change with you. the design? I don't agree with that. Oh, yeah. To I mean, especially toys. towards the end. Doesn't bother like, me I'm not too gonna... much because I do really like this design. I'm not going to give anything have away. have bought the toys. But towards the, the end. Overall in this film, comes across you, you as can see relatively it. unimportant. I can't and say anything. I don't want to give any spoilers. To help Kong fight the bad guy at the end. That Speaking part was sick. Guy, 
the antagonist of the film, The Scar King, is insane. He's Literally very good. and figuratively. He's such a pleasure to watch because he's just so crazy. I love his mannerisms. The way he walked around. just loves being it. The he way he was evil, dude. I, I, I love... Ruler. He was a good I villain. I really hoping he would be someone that leads through fear. I think he's, he's a really good villain. He's also a pretty complex villain in the sense he's not the strongest titan in the universe or the largest, but he's got wit speed and numbers at his side as well as the giant frost titan shimo they tried to now, hide shimo. this titan in the trailers but not well enough and her reveal scene is one of my favorite moments in the monsterverse there's a lot more to this character than just being some big evil titan so big i won't lady. discuss much but what i will say for both shimo and the scar king is they weren't actually in the film for that long in fact they don't even show up until halfway into the I film mean, I think which they were was pretty disappointing good enough since I, I when they were on they screen been they were fantastic there are just so many monsters throughout the film both new and recognizable mm -hmm. and all leave a lasting impact but what about the cgi since that first i trailer, thought cgi was I've great seen a lot of discourse over whether they're good or if bad. you're saying cgi is bad honest, you're looking way too much into mixed it. some I shots mean, look great whilst others look half-baked like if you're All saying it's Hollow bad you're probably in it for a living and like a really you're looking way too deep job here. But like just the watch the movie world, it was great it's a bit wonky and a step down from godzilla versus Kong. i definitely didn't Although, think it was to wonky be fair to the film we've never had this much monster action in a monsterverse film before it's practically an animated film i mean when you so guys watch the movie let me know what you think cuts but in order to get more i just shots did not done. think so it's a sacrifice it that i'm okay with personally as long I thought as it was great. engaging and doesn't take me out of it, I'm fine with it. Like, there wasn't anything no that I, I saw, effects. and I was like, mm, that Obviously, the bad. monsters play a Not huge role in the film, but what about the part spent with the humans? Thankfully, the humans were also good. pretty good. I really good. liked him. Not he was really good. There's a boring character in the film. Even side characters like Michael, played by Alex Ferns, stand out as this rough mercenary that works for Monarch. He was my favorite, like, human. Kind of treats like Especially as a new pain in the arse. My favorite has to be Trapper. Yeah, Trapper. Just there he such is. a joy to watch. Dan he Stevens was fun. I really liked him in the movie. Up, and his character has this fun little bromance with Bernie, who returns from Godzilla vs. Kong. Yep. But the role I was most looking forward to was Gia's, and her Gia acting plays talent a has big only improved role. in the last three years since Godzilla vs. Kong. But it unfortunately I mean felt like role. she was underutilized. Don't get me wrong, she is integral to underutilized? the Underutilized? I'm not going to say anything, but she's not underutilized, I can soul. tell you that. But she doesn't really have many scenes with Kong, which were the highlights of the previous film. She kind of is... I was hoping to see their relationship okay. grow. But if anything, she's not underutilized. Them, which this is, is opinions, sad, by the way. But you could I'm think still different. very happy with the human. I respect Dangerville's It never feels like there's too many people. I'm never yeah, bored I, by I was any never of the bored characters. One time in we this respect movie. Eileen Andrews for how she's caring for Gia, and she's taken an even greater maternal role this time around. Facts. And Trapper contrasts that by being this free-spirited hippie archetype. And saying this now, we need a TV show based on Trapper just helping Titans. There's no characters mourning over their child or brother or father. It's just some people going on an adventure, which makes for a refreshing change of pace. There is a lot of jokes, and a lot of them did make me laugh, which mm -hmm. might annoy some people wanting nah, a more serious film. It was good. Film. I mean, it was so serious, though. The there was a few itself? jokes. Is it really just an excuse watch for a war dumb monster action brother. like so many people have I don't said? Know. Well, there's yes going to be some jokes. No, the story it up a little is bit. very straightforward this is kind of a war and gives movie, plenty of opportunity for us to, to engage with epic Titan mayhem. And there are a lot of contrivances and some pretty shoddy writing, but there is an element of depth to both Kong and Gia that help give the story an emotional. I guess I'm just like a movie buff. I like movies way too much. I'm not. It's got to be really bad culture. for they me to be like. Turn eh, the film into something more good. than just a dumb monster movie like Meg Two or Ramp. Page. But considering the film's working title I mean, was I'd Origins, it doesn't really feel like I came out of the film knowing Meg more about cool. the history of the Titans than I did before. There's a lot of surface level exposition that regurgitates stuff we either already knew or speculated on long ago, and some of it even contradicts what was already established. I was really hoping they'd go in depth, but unfortunately not. But in they kind of did editing, go in depth. The film though. See, that's, is that's what very I'm fast paced, about. and I mean it's they insanely did. fast. I love it the is cinema fast, overwhelmed and unsure what to make of it. 
purely because so much happened. And I with that it was short one hour 55 minute runtime, they either had to sacrifice some scenes they hit you with everything, or oversimplify the story. And I have a feeling it's both. They don't really give the so film like any breathing agree with this and halfway and allow us to but like soak I said, in the atmosphere. Opinions. So while there's could a love lot more scenes it. of monsters in action, the sequences are opinion, shorter man. and more chaotic. The final fight is shockingly short, and because it's so fast-paced, it was fast a little paced, short, but it also really carried over out. from. It's not like King I of the Monsters, where much. everyone remembers Ghidorah's hypergravity beam attack, or 2014 yes, with the is, atomic though. breast yes, scene. Yes, it is. In the new Empire, everything kind of just mushes together. Okay, listen. If all Godzilla finale, does something, then you'll definitely remember. As satisfying as it okay, could be. you'll definitely now, remember. Finally, it. let's talk about that. That's music. why I'm just not agreeing with Junkie some of this. XL is back, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's I like good the music in it. it means for the first time, music cues will follow through from the previous film, which will help make the films feel more connected. Yeah, the I, bad I, I news thought it was is good. his previous score left a lot to be desired. There were some bangers in Godzilla vs Kong. But it was mostly just all right. So in the new empire, the score is... It was okay. Yeah, it's also all right. It again boils down to a lot of bombastic electronic instruments, which, yeah, will sound great on IMAX, but don't really make That's what I feel today. anything. <laughs> I was it's an a IMAX lot more for sure. Beat this time around, I had to. almost superhero sounding, which I guess is to complement the Godzilla and Kong team up. Facts. Godzilla Kong The New Empire is such a fantastical adventure. Rating, is he gonna to rate finish. it? Okay, It'll I'm gonna give my rating to him toes If he rates stunning it. Stunning new locations, fun characters, and great monster action. I'm intrigued. But it's not just about these scenes of chaotic destruction. The non-verbal storytelling really transcends what you expect from the genre That's and delivers something never before seen. An experience where we get to stand alongside 300 foot tall titans mm -hmm. and experience their way of life. But it is flawed. The lightning fast pace make it hard to really appreciate what's happening. The writing can be very contrived and overly simple. And the final fight isn't there. as impactful as it could be. I'm disagreeing and in there the as end, well. I couldn't help but feel Scar King, Shimo, and Gia, and Godzilla were underutilized. Which I is a shame disagree there as well, were man. on screen, they shine bright. It is a massively enjoyable and charming film that will only know. get better on rewatches, as I find the little details I can that definitely I watch it again. my initial viewing. I'm gonna give Godzilla Kong The New Empire eight dugs out of ten. Eight out of ten? Okay. I mean, I, I would've gave it a nine out of ten, so throughout, that's not I bad. I have a feeling you will too. Films like this are really what the theater was made for. 10 out of 10 Bear for me mind, is like... Everyone's opinion on the film might change over time with more rewatches. I'm like a sure three I'm going to love it even more just when I see it what in I just IMAX, watched. which is really the way this film should be watched. But what did you think about The New Empire? Did you like it? I'm going to tell, tell you what I thought. in the comment section down I'm going to tell you what I Remember, thought. And to be honest, like I said, I did disagree with some of the stuff he's saying, but also, like I said, it's an opinion. Everything's opinion based here. I respect the opinion. My opinion, though, like I said at the beginning, I, I really did like the movie. It was fun. Yes, it was fast, but it was filled with like a bunch of uh, fight scenes. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to see one fight go on for 30 minutes. Like somebody's got to win in between there. Anyways, let me know what you think of the movie when you're able to see it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching with me. I love y'all. Goodbye.